Hey photographers, my name is Shannon. We're gonna answer the question today, what was your first camera? And if you say phone, you are disqualified from watching the rest of this video. No, I'm really kidding, but maybe you're wanting to move from phone to camera, or you already have a camera, what is your camera? Just go down below in the comments and tell me what you have right now. For me, it took me a little thinking at my age, but 50 years ago, a little bit more than 50 years ago, my first camera, actually more than about 52 years ago, my first camera was a Kodak package box pocket instamatic came with a camera a couple of cartridges film was in cartridges you just stick them in the back and get started um, and then uh, they advanced that with a flash extension like this that went on top where flash cubes went and every time you wound forward the flash cube would turn and it would be the next flash cube if you had flash cubes in film was about this big very tiny it was film and after you got to the end, it would just stop. There was no rewinding or re-rolling. You just finished it off, took it in, had it processed. Wow. Man, pocket. Now there's your key. Pocket Instamatic. That camera, probably 1972. That leads to your phones, people. Think about it. It leads to your phone. Pocket Instamatic fits in your pocket just like a phone. Next camera, my dad and I went halvesies on, and it was interesting camera. I did some research on it, and it really just it amazed me in a certain way. The Practica LLC. You can see the photo right here of the two cameras, my first two cameras. Remember, get down there and comment and tell me what your first cameras were. The Practica LLC was made in, according to what I read, East Germany. Now, East Germany was beyond the Iron Curtain, communist controlled East Germany at that time. Cold War. How they got those to the West, I do not know. But isn't that interesting? I think it is. I think that's worth note. Practica LLC, East German. Huh. Didn't know that. Didn't think about it. Went halvesies with it with my dad. So I think I probably totaled out at $150 and I was in business. So that is the story of my first cameras. Now what I have now, <laughs> I go with technology, okay? When film went away, I went with it. I, went, I came back with digital. I shoot the Z-Series Nikon with the, the lenses that I can afford to shoot with. Um, Zs are great for doing many things. They're quiet, they're fast. They're big files, they're great sensors. And on the Zs, um, like the one I'm shooting with right there on this video, they shoot great video. And for me, I'm doing a lot more video. You can check out a, a YouTube channel there that I have. And there's more, more YouTube channels. I'll just put the descriptions under here and you don't have to click on it or anything. You can just see it and maybe you will go visit some of my other channels that are much bigger much more popular well actually only one of them is much bigger <laughs> and actually only one of them is much more popular but i'm enjoying what i'm telling you guys hopefully uh, you can tell me a few things about uh, photography here on fab there but now from that little practica heavy metal it probably weighed more than this camera right here with lens and everything heavy metal uh, from that camera to this camera we're talking light years of difference. And so that is the story about the first 35 millimeter camera and the first camera I ever had when I was 11 to 14 years old. And uh, the Practica took pictures on 35 millimeter, which those negatives are still around and in the family stuff today. Uh, there's nothing wrong with film, but this is greatness.